Hey, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will solve a numerical that was asked in IIT JM Economics paper of 2021. The question is, uh, the supply and demand curves of a vaccine are, we are given the supply and demand function of a vaccine where Q is equal to 14 plus 5P, where Q is the units of vaccine and P is the price. Uh, similarly, our demand function is Q is equal to 329 minus 5P. Uh, the government decides that um, maximum price of the vaccine would be uh, rupees 25 per unit okay uh, to avoid uh, any shortage at uh, in supply at the ceiling price the government also uh, decides to subsidize the seller so that the market clears okay so here the government is imposing a price ceiling of 25 okay uh, also uh, as the question uh, tells us that to avoid any shortage uh, supply at the ceiling price, the government also decides to subsidize the sellers, okay? So the government is also subsidizing sellers in this question. Uh, the question tells us a uh, subsidy is given on per unit basis. We have to find the total ex government expenditure in providing the subsidy, okay? So what will we do first of all? We are given the demand and supply functions. First, I will draw the graph to make it more uh, uh, clear to you. Let us say this is our demand function. This is our supply function. Okay. As we know, the equilibrium will occur where demand and supply will intersect. And this would be the equilibrium quantities. Okay. Let us say Q. This is T star. And this is Q star. Okay. But the question tells us that the government has imposed a... Uh, Rather, the government has imposed a price ceiling. That is the effective price ceiling. Uh, in case of price ceiling, uh, the price is always below the equilibrium price. So, the price ceiling would be like this. This is the price ceiling, okay, uh, of 25 uh, rupees per unit, okay. So, what will we do? We will write, first of all, this demand function. Our demand function is Q is equal to... 329 minus 5p okay and we have also the supply function q is equal to 14 plus 5p okay what will we do uh, we will see uh, what is what is the quantity demanded at a price ceiling of 25 so at at price is equal to this price ceiling is equal to 25 okay Quantity demanded would be equal to Q is equal to 329 minus 5 times the price ceiling. That is 25 in this case. This comes out to be 329 minus 125. This is a 9 minus 5 is 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. So we get 204. So quantity demanded uh, at this point, at this point would be, uh, would be uh, 204 units. 204. And let us say this is Q, this is our P, okay? So, quantity demanded uh, at 204 units and uh, 25 as the price would be at this point, this, uh, this is the point, okay? Now, uh, what would be the price if the sellers were to sell 204 units of vaccine okay so we got quantity demanded a price ceiling of 25 was 204 so we will see what would be the price at which the sellers would be willing to uh, willing to provide uh, 204 units of vaccine okay so the price that they will be willing to offer rather uh, the price that they will be willing to accept would be at this point, okay? That means uh, since uh, this this area is simply this area is simply the benefit to the consumers because uh, price is below equilibrium price is above the price ceiling, okay? And this area this area the government has to provide additional uh, amount of dollars to uh, uh, to the sellers so that the market clears so we will see 
at what price the sellers would be able to provide 204 units of vaccine so at what price so this is our supply function okay so we take this quantity we write q is equal to 204 and from that we will get the price that they are willing to accept at 204 units so this is 204 minus 14 is equal to 5p or 204 minus 14 is 4 minus 4 is 0 uh, 10 minus 1 is 9 this is 190 is equal to 5p or our p is equal to 190 divided by 5 this is uh, 5 3s are 15 16 17 18 19 5 8s are 40 so the price that the sellers would be willing to accept would be 38 so that the market clears okay so this is the price at a price of 38 the sellers would be willing to provide 204 units of vaccine okay so we can see the impact of uh, the price ceiling here so government has to provide additional this very uh, this very amount of uh, rupees to the sellers okay and this very amount to the consumers so that the market clears in this case and total cost of the subsidy to the government in this case would be this very whole shaded area okay so cost of subsidy cost of subsidy or we can say the government expenditure on subsidy would be area of this very rectangle so we have this very rectangle here we have this 204 and this is 38 minus 25 38 minus 25 which comes out to be uh, 38 minus 25 oh, this is 3 this is 1 so 13 okay the government expenditure on the subsidy would be then equal to this is area of a rectangle as you know is length into breadth. so this is 204 into 13 uh, when solving this so what is 204 into 30? So I will write 204 into 13. This is 3 4 are 12, 3 0 are 0, 3 2 are 6. Yes, we have 4 0 oh, 2. This comes out to be 2 5 6 is 2. So this is uh, 2 6 is 5. So government expenditure on providing the subsidy would be 2652 i hope i make this calculation right here so i will uh, i repeat we were given a demand and supply function of a uh, of a vaccine and government also decided uh, to uh, impose an effective price ceiling of 25 rupees and simultaneously the government also uh, wants to subsidize the seller so that the market clears okay we have to find the cost of the uh, cost of the subsidy to the government what will we uh, did in this question uh, we took the demand and supply functions which were given okay we took the price ceiling we uh, took this price ceiling that is, as we know the price ceiling is always below the equilibrium price so we take this price ceiling of 25 you and put it into the demand function from there we got q is equal to 204 that means at a price of 25 204 units of uh, vaccines would be demanded okay but um, at 204 units of um, at 204 units of vaccine uh, what price would be sellers willing to accept so this is simply we take this point and and add it uh, to this supply function and here we can see at this price at this price the sellers would be willing to provide 204 units of vaccine okay so this is the additional cost on a part of sellers that uh, the government has to provide and this is for 
this is the cost and good on buyers and providing the subsidy okay so we took this uh, 204 204 unit skew and we equated with this uh, expression from there we got price of 38 so at, at a price of 38 the sellers are willing to uh, offer 204 units of vaccine okay now the cost of uh, the subsidy is simply this very uh, uh, this very rectangle and it is simply we take this 204 here and this 13 38 minus 25 from that we got the total cost incurred by the government on providing the subsidy i hope i make myself clear if there are some mistakes or errors i apologize for that because